In 2010, we found out that the Democratic National Convention Committee was looking at Charlotte and St. Louis. So we used social media to invigorate the local community to lobby on behalf of Charlotte. And the DNCC paid attention, and the rest is history. Some of us blog for big media. Some of us work for ourselves. And some of us do it just for um, the sake of taking part of the conversation. Or for the love of sharing and taking part, yeah. Some of us blog for big companies. Some of us blog for small. Some of us, we blog for companies large and small, but also a lot for ourselves. Okay. So we've been filming all day for a promotional video for the people, trying to get the word out what we're doing, we're offering. We want to create space and resources for all the bloggers and independent media visiting the city that won't have official accommodations given to them by the DNC in the convention center, in the arena, whatever else. There should be a place for them to sit. They should be able to e easily get online and easily get power. It should be a place that they feel comfortable to get their work done. I'd hate for someone's first experience of Charlotte to be you know, cramming out some, some editing back in their hotel at three in the morning. Like, why not bring them into Charlotte and uh, give them a good taste of what our creative environment's like. It's necessary that we accommodate unaccredited media because it's a rising population of people who have a very loud, listened to voice. So making sure that that collective voice has everything they need to say what they need to say is quite necessary.